Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zen from Zen World and I hope you're having a great day. So previously we talked about um, Leroy Smith and his inclusion into Tekken and just a little bit of a story when it comes to Wing Chun. But I really wanted to dive into the story a little bit more because I don't feel like I got a chance to really... Um, I, I think I only glanced over and just so you all know that the story has changed over time so let's get into it so towards the 1800s and 1900s there was a lot of there was documentation right to say the origin of Wing Chun but one of the most prominent um, versions of the story is the Buddhist nun named Ning Miao I probably pronounced that name wrong so I'm, I par pardon any of the, the family or pardon anyone who knows how to pronounce the name um, correct but um, so there's a few variations to that story itself and the reason why I'm telling this story is because we want to know that even though Leroy Smith is in the game he's using Wing Chun and we need to know about the origins of Wing Chun in order to understand why some of the movements are the way that they are. So um, the Nung Ming Yu um, was a Shaolin Kung Fu master who escaped political persecution. So around those times in the 1800s and 1900s, um, there was a lot of political persecution and also the burning of um, the Shaolin temples themselves, right? So she faced persecution under the King um, Imperial forces. And from that, she was able to seek out refuge from hiding out and going through under underground training area um, in the the king the Qing um, government right or king um, so she developed Wing Chun by watching it's speculated that she developed it by watching a fight between a bird um, which is a snake and a crane itself right so not the bird is a snake but the bird is the crane and then also the snake but there's also another speculation that it was actually a fox and a snake. So um, these things are not really um, too sure because we know that the stories have been passed down to different lineages and also different students. And just like the game of telephone, sometimes words and stories change over time. So another variation of the story itself is basically very similar in the sense that um, she, she developed Wing Chun by utilizing the best practices of Kung Fu, right? And because of the, the, the time period where there was a lot of political persecution, she didn't have the ability to teach another person um, within a whole lifetime. So she had to take out the best versions of it in order to um, seemingly pass things down, right? So she, after the temple was burned down, she escaped past Wing Chun down to a young woman who she had befriended and basically that same one woman who was hassled by thugs and things of that nature had used the Wing Chun and it's believed that that actual woman, um, her name was Wing Chun, right? Um, itself. So the name was Yim Wing Chun. And later we heard that this name was the one that gave birth to the martial arts that we know and love today, right? So if we're looking at the if we're looking at the art itself, it's very precise, and the reason why a lot of people go um, more and more so with the snake and the crane is because of the beak of the actual um, crane is very sharp and precise, very similar to the snake itself, very precise, moving fast, right? Um, but for both both parties in terms of the crane and also the snake, it needs to be utilized in close quarters, right? Um, which is very similar to Wing Chun, um, close quarter based fighting. So with that being said, um, there is a lot more story to it. Um, Wing Chun is still growing and it's a growing martial art that is uh, with the popularity of the Ip Man movies. There has been a lot of popularity between um, a lot of people just trying to learn Wing Chun and it's a beautiful thing because I believe martial arts is, um, and for a lot of people, it's not just for self-defense but it's also for preservation of life in order to be the best version of yourself you can be. And through Wing Chun, you're able to learn these precise movements and it's and it's not hard for a new beginner in order to get into, right? It's a balance of um, your energy versus someone else's energy and known precise movements in order to, to get around um, their weaknesses, but also your weaknesses at the same time. So with that being said, there's been many martial arts um, Wing Chun masters. The most prominent that we know is Ip Man, but we have Liang, 
Liang Zhan, um, Liang Bik, and Chen Wushan um, from Wushan, right? Um, so there's a lot. So now, when I was growing up, personally, I didn't really know any of them. I didn't know Ip Man, um, Chen Wushan, um, Liang Cheng, or Liang Bik, or Liang Zhan, right? I didn't know about any of those characters. Um, but the one that I knew about the most growing up, and he's he is the son of Ip Man, is actually Ip Chong. So Ip Chung, he practiced uh, martial arts and he's still alive to this day and he's a wonderful renowned martial artist. I myself has dabbled, I have dabbled into uh, Wing Chun for a couple years and this past year in 2018 I had the privilege of training with um, Sifu Leong and he is the one who's in charge of all the choreography from the Ip Man movies or at least the ones that I know of from Ip Man 1 and 2. So some of those most um, beautiful, awesome fight scenes you have seen, um, I had the privilege of training with him, right? So um, I don't have his picture here, but Ip, he did um, consult with Ip Chung in order to get precise movements. So with that being said, now we have a new master and he came, comes in the game, of, <laughs> he comes in the form of a video game and that is Leroy Smith. And I, I must say, I'm very happy with his character and, and possible designs. It still gives a lot of culture, um, culture in the United States, pre um, preferably New York within the early 80s and 70s and um, 60s even. That um, So we have a picture here of a cosplay that's been um, done, which looks pretty good, right? Um, this. This, this is a definitely a cosplay, so I can see a lot of people this Halloween posing as him. So let me know what you think about um, Leroy Smith overall and also the art of um, Wing Chun. It's a very beautiful art, um, precise, not too hard to get into, but with all things that seem or are seemingly easy, they're actually the hardest things once you put in the practice. Right, so I'm gonna be doing more videos on Leroy Smith, um, just so we could get to know his character before his inclusion. Um, post in the comments below what you think about this video. Um, drop me a like, share the video um, on social media such as Facebook and others. All right, everyone.